Hello everyone, welcome back to the Golden Butterflies Film Studios channel. Thank you so much for joining me again today. We'll recover all things Hollywood, film, and pop culture. So as you know, the Oscars was last week and yesterday was St. Patrick's Day. So I wanted to dedicate this weekend on focusing on Irish films and they did an amazing job at the Oscars. So an Irish goodbye. It actually won for the live action short film. It was directed by Tom Berkeley and Ross White. So congratulations to everyone on an Oscar goodbye. If you guys have seen it, please let me know. It was only 23 minutes, right? So that's why it qualified for the short action film. And it also broke history as well by the first person with Down syndrome, James Martin. He was the first person to ever win an Academy Award, and he's actually born and raised in Ireland, so he's from Belfast. So congratulations to James Martin. That's huge. And right here he says, quote, it doesn't matter if you have Down syndrome as long as you're doing what you do. And I'm so grateful to see not only James, but like Michelle Yeoh becoming the first Asian American actress to win and just so many records were broken with the Oscars so congratulations to James and everyone who worked on this film it was really charming and heartwarming so let's go ahead and get into it they, they also won a BAFTA award they won many different awards across the board because the premise of it is we have two estranged brothers, Turlo and Locran, and they are coming together on a rural farm in Northern Ireland after the passing of their mother. And they have her cremated. And so the priest that's sitting here to the left, he gives Locran, who is James's character, their mother's bucket list. And just in a very warm and funny and comedic way. They make light of the fact that, of course, you know, they're grieving their mother's passing, but at the same time, Locrin wants to honor his mother's memory and fulfill everything on her bucket list. <laughs> and so, you know, Turlo's not really with it. Like, he's like, okay, you know, mom passed and it's kind of weighing on, it, on him a little bit. But Locrian is really, he's really charismatic and he's really magnetic on the screen. So he's like, you know, he takes a list from the priest and he's like, no, we're going to do this. We're going to honor mom and her memory. And I'm going to do everything on this list that she couldn't do physically, you know, while she was here in order to honor her memory. I just thought that that was such a beautiful and touching and endearing way to, you know, honor their mother and to bring them closer because that's what it's all about. You know what I mean? Like connection and honoring family and the fact that, you know, he was able to do this as one last wish fulfillment, right? Or to honor his mother, I thought was a beautiful sentiment. So this film definitely brought a smile to my face. And it's only 23 minutes, so you guys should really take some time if you have it to check it out because one, it's award winning and they're breaking barriers, but two, it was just really heartwarming and really funny. I really enjoyed the, you know, the fact that it was shot in Ireland and I love an Irish accent, <laughs> but also they incorporated just, you know, so many wonderful touching moments and if you've ever had someone close to you pass away, you know how difficult the grieving process can be. And grief can make us do a lot of, of just a lot of things. I mean, everyone handles it differently, but for, you know, Locrin to really, first it hit him really hard. Like he was like stretched out on the floor, on the ground. And, you know, Turlo was like, you know, he'll be all right. He's talking to the breeze, but then, <laughs> When the priest gives him the letter, like, oh, well, your mom, you know, she has this list of things that she wanted to do. And, you know, Tur Turlo's like, 
you shouldn't have given Loker in that list. Like, oh my goodness, you know, what have we, what if, what, what has the priest gotten us into type of thing, you know? And, um, and just to see them grow closer together through such a painful experience was, was really touching and it was really beautiful. So I think that everybody did, you know, a great job. And the fact that I'm surprised that it took this long. I had no idea that James Martin was the first person with Down syndrome to ever win an Academy Award. I mean, I'm just like blown away. I would have thought that that would have happened much sooner, but I'm glad that it's happening now. And that so many people, whether they're differently able than we are or have a different you know, race or ethnicity or whatever our differences are, that they can be celebrated and on film, on camera, and in our award shows. And so I'm definitely here for it. I see, you know, this is a beautiful picture of them accepting their Oscar on stage. And it's definitely deserving and, and hard earned because they did a great job with the film. So, and it can't be easy to, to shoot such a short film and convey so much emotion within 23 minutes. That's something that should be applauded as well because, you know, the typical film is at least like an hour and a half to, you know, some films, Titanic was like four hours, but <laughs> but this one, they conveyed a lot of love and a lot of just raw emotion within 23 minutes. So that's definitely to be recommended or awarded, I should say. And the Academy, of course, has done that for them. So an Irish goodbye, if you guys aren't familiar with the phrase, it's a pop culture um, kind of slang phrase. And it means basically leaving a party without letting anybody know that you're gone. Uh, and in this case, it refers to the passing of their mother. But I want to leave you with this Irish blessing that I found. And it's often used in Ireland from what I what I'm told but I read it and I thought it was beautiful and touching on this weekend celebrating St. Patrick's Day may the road rise to meet you may the wind be always at your back may the sun shine warm upon your face the rain fall soft upon your field and until we meet again may God hold you in the palm of his hand I thought that was so beautiful and just a really touching way to end the Irish goodbye synopsis or summary that I give the recap, because again, I think that everything happens for a reason. And the fact that, you know, they were brought closer, the two brothers were brought closer in the midst of their mother's passing. I just thought it was just beautiful. And I'm so glad to see, you know, James Martin, he can break down barriers for other people with different abilities and get some more international films, you know, being awarded at the Oscars as well. It's beautiful. So I hope you guys are having a wonderful and safe and happy St. Patrick's Day weekend. Drop down in the comments. Let me know if you've seen the film. If you haven't, go watch it. It's like 23 minutes. And please do not forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Also turn on the notification bell so you'll know when I make another video. And until then, take care. Bye.